Hey guys, I'm JD Ross, and today I'm going to teach you how to run the version of Baldur's Gate 3 on the Steam Deck. Now this isn't a full tutorial, I'm just going to show you what you need to know, and then I have tutorials in the description that you need to follow, and then you just apply the settings that will be shown in this video. So the repack that I use is from Dodi, so go to his website, download the game, install the AIO, and the method that you should be using is Lutris because I've tried running it on Steam and no luck, it didn't launch. Uh, I tried running it on Heroic Launcher, it launched inconsistently. Sometimes it launches, most times it doesn't. But on Lutris, it launches every time. Also, controls worked right away. So, if you don't know how to use Lutris for games, I have a link in the description. After watching that, you can go back here, so install the game. And by the way, when installing the hotfix, you will be asked whether you want to use the rune files or FLT files. It really doesn't matter, it will launch either way, but for this video, I will be using rune files. So add it to Lutris. And then for the settings, just use this. And then add it to Steam. It's, it's that easy, to be honest. The only reason I'm making this video is because uh, people thought that I'm skipping Baldur's Gate. And the only reason I didn't make a gameplay video yet is because I don't have the slightest idea of how to play Baldur's Gate 3. So the gameplay that you will be seeing after this segment of the video it will be crap. It's going to be either annoying or funny. So I apologize, but uh, here's the gameplay. rush past a dragon swing a silver sword and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes oh. <sighs> my head what is this <sighs> Skvar, you are no thrall Vlakith blesses me this day together we might survive Within days, we will be Geich, Mind Flayers. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the Material Plane. Surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm.
stand these dragon attacks for long. Forward! appear in your mind a brain a git yankee warrior and centuries of darkness the console appears dormant the mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first but then you spy an empty socket nothing the console remains dormant Ground. We're dead. Another step forward.
Dora. What? Stop! Not another step or I'll... Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least you made the effort. Suddenly you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Confusion. Resolve. And a hint of gratitude. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do, in your head. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to... cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. I don't know much, but enough to be afraid. This is how they breed. We host their spawn, and once they're ready, they'll tear right through us. I'm not sure how much time we have left. But I'm not going to wait to find out. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. I handle myself. But you're right. Time to try something else. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. No, let's count these monsters. You're the friendliest face so far. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. Lead the way.
Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. <laughs> Something matter. 